Ah, oh, for goodness sake, engine management lights back on again. Welcome back everybody. We're on a little urban adventure. We're not going too far because um, as you see the engine management lights back on again. Okay, we're parked up in what's probably going to be a temporary space. Um, I want to park in the middle, but there's a woman sitting in the car in the middle, so I can't climb over the back. She'd see me, and then there's a guy in a van just parked down here. So I had to wait for him to move. Hopefully, he'll clear off soon. I'll be able to scrub her into the back and get the grub on the go because I'm clean starving. Right, this guy doesn't seem to be clearing off anywhere, so I'm going to go over in this grief fix here and see if they still have the the catalogs. I don't know if they still do them, maybe that's an old school thing, but everything's online now on the app, but yeah, I'll go and do that. And maybe by the time that I go and do that, it'll clear it off. There he's there. Okay, I've been waiting for ages now, and this guy, he's moved a bit, but he hasn't cleared off yet. You can see him there, I'm just doing my wood deflector, he's sitting his, his wing where I could see me, but frick it, I'm just going to get in here. I'm starving, I need to eat. So we're just going to try and scarper over it, we'll take the headrest off, and um, we'll just go for it, frick it. Well, we're looking for something here. Bang. And we are in. We are in. Just prop you up there for a second till I can get um, the tripod up. I think this is a bit of a, a hangout spot for cars, for like by racers and things like that. Two cars parked along there, one of the music pumping them a minute ago, but he's just gone on the golf, so it'll be interesting to see if this does become like a hanging spot later on when it gets dark. So let's see, before we start cooking our dinner, what I have on this tablet. Um downloaded some films from Prime. So we've got loads of Robson's Extreme Fishing Challenge to get through. Oh, there must be like 10 there of them. Uh, we've got one of the Grand Tours, don't know what one that one is. We have an old Top Gear and we've got the film Waiting. An old film with um, Ryan Reynolds. So, let's see what I'm going to cook. It's going to be really simple. Straight out of a jar. Yeah, tikka masala. So we're having tikka masala sauce. Right. I've got a lot of stuff in here, I'll take you through that. It's an absolute mess, I don't really need to sort that out. But anyway, that'll keep for another day. So as I said, yep, we're having tikka masala. Rice. I've just got some turkey breast. Bernard's Matthew turkey. I think I've made this sort of meal before, but I don't think I've made it with a salad. It's just so easy, so convenient. No, it's clean. No working raw chicken and trying to clean the stinking raw chicken juices off your hands. Just handy. Just convenient for now. Um, veg wise, got some like bottom mushrooms. I ain't gonna fire them in the way they are. I'm gonna cut them just like that. We've got a couple of onions, a nice big red pepper. And we also have an avo, but the avo is hard as a rock. It's like a bloody baseball. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to use that. And to wash it all down. Nice tin of uh, iron brew.
squeeze in the garlic butter and we're going to give the turkey breast a little bit of a, a heat up and a cook in the garlic butter just to put our own little spin on it Okay, go. Well, as I say, we'll just add the mushrooms the way they are. Because they'll shrivel up anyway. We'll add the rice now. Get a bit of heat into it. And then we'll throw the turkey back in. And then we'll add the sauce. And we'll bring it all together like a, a one pan meal. Just put it all up in there. At the same time. Nice and handy, convenient for the whole van life thing. You can get it cooked in one. One pound together, that makes life easy. Oh yes. Grub is up. Look at that. It smells so good. But we must do the good old taste test. Get one of these little mushrooms. I'm sure they're roasting inside. First class. First class. A simple but effective meme. What? Let that cool down a bit. Cheers guys. Right. Season a bit. Food nailed. Pause Robson here a second. Um, just put the light on there briefly. It will give me away, but I want to show you this little bad boy. I got myself a little Osmo action. And it comes with three batteries. It come with um, a couple of other different cages, but I bought this cage because I like this one, it was small. Let's see if we can switch the display around. So it has like a little selfie thing in the front, so you know you can do your vlog and see it. A bit more compact than the, the phone. So I'll go try and do a full video on that. I'm just using this. So I bought this little tiny tripod. It's very similar to the GoPro Shorty. If you know what the GoPro Shorty is. That glass. I've got a head mount and I've got a chest mount already. So built on my head mount and when I go out this year, definitely this year, I'm bringing my kayak out. I bought a kayak um, a year and a half ago. That's in the shed and it hasn't been out of the bag. I'll put a picture on the screen of the one it is. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to get that out this year and I'm going to go down along the, the coast, the north coast, and um, do a bit of fishing out in the kayak, out in the off the coast, so I'm really looking forward to that. If you watched my last video, you'll know that um, I've made an extension for the bed, so that makes it a game changer in here at night time, so much more comfortable. But dessert time for me, chill out, watch some TV for a few hours, and I'll bring you back later. Many hours later, time is going on, folks, and um, I'm early in the morning, so I think we're going to get set up for. Sleep mode. We will put our little bed extension on. If you haven't seen this, watch the previous video where I do a bit of a walkthrough. It's a little extension I put onto this bed just to make it a little bit more comfortable. There's not much happening out there. Hope it stays like that. So I get a good night's sleep. I've got my sleeping bag, I need that. There we 
gotta go. Put that over there. I'm surprised at the road noise to be honest, you know, this is, see just above us, where we parked, yeah, just above us up there, is the slip onto that roundabout that we camped on there not so long ago, that giant roundabout, and it goes off down onto the motorways, very close, summertime there's trees up there, we'd like to hammock in them, on that slip too, but that's for another day. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Love it. That is probably the best thing I've done to this farm. Out of all the stupid things I've done to this. All the necessary stuff. That little extension there has made such a difference. Turn them off. And, oh, we'll get in here. Oh yeah. I love it. I love the bad life. I think I'm just going to watch this here and then just drift off. So this has only just started, so it's probably been on for about an hour. What these specials last about an hour? And hopefully it stays quiet out there, no messing around. We get no none of that carry on because see all that drama? I don't need it. This is a chill time for me. Just turn my little screen around so I can see if anybody's up behind me. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Time for work. Right, that's me changed. Just need to put my, my fleece on. Gotta be spray. Fred gets working for a living car on. As you can see, that one there is giving me a set. Does the job. Called this crap, but it lets me see who's behind me at all times. This one here, now, it's sort of useless at the minute. I need to, I need to raise that up. I think I'll move it back and raise it up so I'm seeing right out that side window. Because if you can just, just see there, I can see the sign, you know, of the, that building. So I can't see out through the window, it's just it's a bit low. So I think I'll make something higher that up so I can get a look from the side. As you can see, still nobody about. See, there's the, the slipway there. And in summertime, these trees obviously aren't as bare. I think I get hammock in them. Whereas, let's see if I can get a thumbnail for screw fix. That's another little stuff in the bag. Screw fix car park, exciting stuff, yeah! But, um, unfortunately, I have to go to work now. But, yeah, quiet night. Car park emptied. I was concerned about the gates going to shut into the car park, but they never did. So, all was good. Complete, over, and done. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you got this far, you better well subscribe. And I'll just see you on the next one.